we are talking about this afternoon is saber-toothed tigers and teddy bears and attachment so that we can all start to think about what attachment means both for the children that we care for and the families that we care for and I think also how it helps all of us to understand our own individual lives. I think Suzanne's ability to deliver the message is absolutely perfect and not just think but I think Suzanne enables you to feel the emotion in the room and to use that emotion as a big, big power for making a big, big difference to children's lives. Suzanne's presentation style was really accessible. I liked that it was easy to understand. It was simplified without talking down to anyone, but it was something that you can take away and, and really remember. And you could call that lots of things. So you could call it saber-toothed tigers and teddy bears, but nobody would really know what that means which is part of the reason that I like the idea of saber-toothed tigers and teddy bears because it sounds interesting even if we don't know what it means. I think the most important thing I took away from today is how, how important uh, your presence is for a child at all times, how, how scared they are of the saber-toothed tiger that's around the corner and how important it is for you to be there. It was fantastic because it it dealt with us on two different levels. Firstly, um, on an intellectual level in challenging us to think about um, historical perspectives and then in um, uh, relaying that into our own context, but also on an emotional level and asking us to refer back to our own situations or the situations of children or families that we knew. And um, that gave it that much more of an impact. What I'll take away from me um, is about thinking of children much more as individuals. I think as social workers, having worked in children's resources for a few years, we tend, the children have been through such traumatic circumstances that sometimes we don't want to think or feel too deeply about what they've been through because we're limited sometimes in what we can do for them. We work with some older children, we tend to work with teenagers, um, and the fact that Attachment is a lifelong process that it doesn't just stop, you know, at a certain age. I think that that was really powerful and just how much it can affect your policies, your everyday life, everything you do from what we're going to do in our homes to what we do professionally. So it was very powerful. Great training. And with our own little one as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, going to be coming, it's going to come very handy, isn't it? Yes. So. In your womb, when a baby is in the womb, they already know the voices of the people around them so that when they're born, they already know who's part of their world. They know if, who their mom is. They know who their dad is. They know who their siblings are. Now they might not have known what they look like, but they know what they sound like. I think that's amazing to think that you are already in relationship before you're on the earth. Uh, today I learned um, quite a lot about attachment and how it goes throughout the lifetime and how it sticks with people. And, how what we do, how we work with children is going to affect uh, through adulthood. Today I learned that um, attachment goes on for a lot longer than what we've been taught previously in university. It's more been based on the children's side of things rather than later life and I think that's something I'll take into my future work. I think the fact that, um, that attachment lasts all through your li uh, lifetime, the issues from attachment you know, and not just about children, it's about adults too. I think awareness is important because you can't change something unless you're aware of it. When something remains and you're unaware of it, then, you know, what, what can you do to move it forward? So, sort of awareness raising sessions like this are very valuable. Uh, she was an amazing speaker and I wish I heard her talk when, I, when my children were little, so perhaps I could have put her um, advice into practice. People will not know that spirited kids who are having temper tantrums is also about attachment. I loved the way Suzanne presented. We just spoke to her and said that we would love her to do a lecture in our uni just because of her energy and I think it would liven up the theatre hall a wee bit more than what we have just now. <laughs> I think this is the most important training I have ever been on. Absolutely brilliant. I'm very proud of Aberdeen. It would not have been the same simply to have read about this. She's a very important woman and I think she has done a fantastic job today. And more importantly, go tell other people what you now understand. Thank you very much.